welcome back to my channel friends so today i am with the another subject that is design of machine elements 2 as we already know that exams are too near now only nine or ten days are left now so most of the students are requesting they are texting that uh, uh, please upload the videos on how to pass this uh, particular subject that is design of machine elements 2 as it is the matter of concern for most of the students that how to pass it as they are thinking that it is the toughest subject but uh, let me tell you friends this is uh, not too much tough subject as far as dme 1 is concerned so dme first was a little bit tough so it is uh, easy than that particular subject only thing that you have to need is you have to just use your data handbook and put just put values on that basis there are numericals so you have to solve on the basis of data handbook only uh, only thing is you have to what we call is use the data handbook over there so that it will be easy to tackle the problems tackle the numericals over there only thing is that so let me tell you friends how to conquer this particular subject how to kill it how to pass it what is the strategy how you can tackle it so let me tell you friends in the first module there is a one definite question over there that is derive an expression for the stress induced in a helical shifting with usual notation that is tau max is equal to 8 times fd upon pi d cube or simply uh, sometimes they will give c is equal to kw 8 fd divided by pi d cube this kw is the wallace factor over there wallace factor so this is the particular equation which is a definite question as far as vtu examination is concerned so just go through and memorize this equation so that you will get easily 10 marks in this particular question then remaining things uh, remaining things are the problems over there uh, springs on the basis of springs leaf springs will be there so just go through the spring problems these are very very easy problems as far as other modules are concerned spring problems are very easy over there just uh, you need to uh, use your data handbook only okay then there is the another part in this particular module that is belt drives and wire wire ropes so in the syllabus there are these uh, three types over there springs belt drives and wire ropes only you just attempt spring part as it is easy over there don't go uh, for the belt drives as uh, there is a vast syllabus for this uh, particular module for this particular subject there is a vast uh, what we call as the content over there so just go through springs only as it is an easy part then uh, in the module 2 there are three types there are three uh, what we call as segments in this particular module so gear drives super gears and helical gears some theory part is there suppose classification of gears materials for gears lubrication of gears modes of gear uh, gear failure uh, they will give you this question uh, modes of gear failure uh, probably six marks question over there this is the theory part so uh, remaining thing is rest part is the uh, what we call the numerical part 14 marks or 16 marks sometimes they will tell you on the super gears and helical gears these are also easy problems my dear friends no need to worry about that so I, let me show you first the interface of these uh, super gear problems and helical gear problems I will only tell you the interface so uh, here is no no time to discuss about the problems how to do that just because the video will be uh, video will get too long over there so it needs a separate video to solve these questions so i will just show you the interface of these problems so this is the module 2 friends this is the design a pair of super gears to trans uh, transmit 20 kilowatt from a shaft rotating at 1000 rpm to a parallel shaft which is to rotate at 310 rpm only thing is uh, first uh, you write the given data that is uh, power is given to 20 kilowatt so uh, shaft rotating at 1000 rpm speed is given 1000 rpm to the parallel shaft and n2 is also given 310, 310 rpm so you have to use your data handbook only remaining things are in data handbook first you choose the material like that then assume the teeth number of teeth then you have to do accordingly the problems on the super gear same like uh, helical gear problems are same like this interface okay so then module 3 comes up so there are two types only bevel, uh, bevel gears and worm gears you have to go through these two parts my dear friends just because as far as previous year papers are concerned most times they have uh, asked they have uh, what we call as given bevel gears were there 20 marks problem sometimes 14 marks and a little bit theory were there so uh, if uh, these two uh, particular contents are concerned in this particular module so uh, according to me i will prefer you just go for worm gears as design procedure in the worm gears are easy uh, 
they will uh, definitely ask uh, 10 marks or sometimes 20 marks question uh, from these uh, particular gears that is worm gears but i am telling you that uh, you have to uh, prepare this module as a full bevel gears and worm gears there is a chances of uh, getting the questions on bevel gears in one part and worm gears also in the one part okay so you have to uh, make this module make this uh, module possible to get the 20 marks uh, over here then the module 4 also there are two parts first one is that is design of clutches or design of brakes over there my dear friends i will tell you just to go for design of clutches in this particular model just because the answers are little bit the answers are less and the procedure is also uh, very less in this particular module so design of clutches there is on uh, what we call the most important question is over there that is the derivation so uh, they will ask you uh, the torque transmitted by the plate clutch with the uniform pressure theory or uh, uniform wear theory in this particular uh, module over there so question will be tra torque transmitted so you have to derive this particular equation this is also a definite question and uh, in the first module also there is one definite derivation that is uh, for the what we call a uh, stress induced in the helical spring okay these are the two uh, derivations which are most important and rest things are uh, the single plate problems multi plate uh, disc problems cone college so these particular three types you have to prepare these are very simple and just you need to use your data handbook i hope you are too matured that how to uh, use the data handbook and how you can calculate the rest of the parameters in that particular model okay so just to go for colleges not uh, not for brakes just because it is a little bit big part over there uh, band brakes will be there a lot of problems on the brakes are there okay so design of colleges is uh, much more what we call as convenient to all the students so that uh, they can easily get 20 marks in this particular module okay then the module fifth comes module oh, so first uh, let me tell you the interface of the colleges over there so this is the design of clutches that is a module 4 so you have to just derive this equation torque transmitted by the plate clutch with uniform pressure theory and uniform wear theory okay my dear friends so then after its problems i will tell you how much content it contains in the numerical problems were there so this is the my dear friends this is a single plate problem so this much is the answer so up to here and then up to here so this is the total problem this is very easy my dear friends so you have to go through the single plate multi plate and cone clutch over there so that uh, you can make possible 20 marks in this particular module then module fifth comes also there are two parts again in the syllabus that is lubric lubrication and bearings or anti-friction bearings go for the first part lubrication and bearings there are some uh, theory concepts you have to go through and uh, also uh, there is one important question one important derivation over there it is the definite question you have to prepare this also you have to memorize this that is the derive petrov's equation for frictional power loss so they will ask you to derive this equation uh, it is given as uh, f is equal to 2 pi 2 pi square into 10 raised power minus 6 into z and upon p r upon c so you have to derive this particular equation okay friends so now go through this lubrication and bearing part this is much more easy part in this particular uh, module from the two uh, contents over here so go through the first part so that you can make also uh, uh, 20 marks possible in this particular subjects so friends this is the i think this is the scoring subject uh, in the sixth semester but uh, most of the students are fearing about this only thing you need to do is uh, what i earlier told you that you have to use your data handbook uh, uh, only so uh, you can make 100 marks possible in this particular subject but uh, if not 100 at least you can get easily 50 or 60 marks by covering these uh, uh, three uh, particular derivations and some problems from colleges and springs if you are just uh, searching for the passing just go through spring part mm, spring numericals they are easy and uh, according to me you have to go for colleges over there design of colleges also these are simple problems and in the uh, fifth module lubrication part if you are just searching for passing my dear friends so just to go through these particular topics which i mentioned here so uh, you can easily make uh, what we call the 60 marks possible in this particular subject dme second it is uh, much more easier than dme first my dear friends so no need to worry so i hope uh, this video is uh, beneficial for you people I hope so uh, my dear friends just share it with your batchmates uh, who are worrying about this subject so that they can avail benefits from this particular content uh, which I mentioned over here so thanks for watching my video